in standard form, write the equation of the circle shown below. So the equation of a circle in standard form is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to the radius squared. h and k is the center point. And in order to get the center point, we need to find the midpoint of this diameter, the blue segment that's in this picture. So to find the midpoint, you could eyeball it, or you could use the midpoint formula, which is just the average of the x's and the y's. So on the right here, we have the point 2, comma 4. And on the left-hand side, we have negative 5, comma 1. Okay, so the center point of this, the h and the k, is going to be negative 5 plus 2 over 2. There's the x-coordinate, and the y-coordinate is 1 plus 4 divided by 2. So averaging these out, I'm going to have a negative 3 halves, negative 3 halves, and uh, 5 halves. So negative 1.5 and 2.5, which I can see that makes sense on the little picture right there. Okay, so now I need a radius. In order to find the radius, I could just find the length of the diameter and then half it. Now I don't have to remember the distance formula. I could just use the Pythagorean theorem. I just drew myself a right triangle in here, and um, the Smaller leg is three units, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven units for the longer length. Just going to go c is equal to the square root of three squared plus seven squared. Just using the Pythagorean theorem. Three squared is nine plus seven squared forty nine, which is equal to the square root of um, fifty eight. Okay, that's the length of the whole entire diameter. So this is, let me actually go back here and make that a D instead. So the radius then is that number cut in half. It's the square root of 58, all of that divided by 2. All right, so now we have our center point. We have our radius. We're able to now actually write our equation then. So the equation is x minus a negative, so it's a plus 3 halves squared plus, and then the y minus the k, 5 halves squared is equal to, I'm going to put this in parentheses, square root of 58 over 2, and then I have to square it. Now I need to, I want to simplify that right hand side there. So when I simplify it, I get to square the top and square the bottom. Square in the top, it cancels out with the square root, so I have 58. And then on the bottom, 2 squared is 4. And then finally I can reduce that fraction. 2 goes into both of them. I'd have 29 over 2, or 14.5. Okay, so now we have our equation. It's various forms for that circle.